Yo, what the heck? Shapes and concepts? First of all, I'm a big fan of the concept of both shapes and concepts. But thank you for the five gifted off the top. Actually, there was a, a, a crazy gifted sub. There was like a tier three to you, from you, like a, 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 a day ago, a week ago. Like after a raid. Thank you for the gifties. Huge fan of shapes and concepts. Like both the concept and like the thing. Love that guy's one username. <laughs> Did you- I, I was away. I like- I had to step away. So there's a good chance that you gifted while I was in the bathroom. So that's like a- that's a special gifting moment. That's a special gifties moment. Thank you so much. I don't know what this playlist is. It's uh... I lied. There's no funny music today. You can leave now. There's no funny music. Yeah, this is serious music. I just, oh my god, I don't know, it's something, it's it's this week, I just haven't, I think I'm just listening to my, my brain, I'm listening to my brain, listening to my body, I'm taking it chill, so I'm just like, I'll go live and I'll, uh, I'll just, I'll just vibe it out, I don't know what we're doing. Jams, thank you, don't make music, let's play CS2, okay, <laughs> let's do that. I was supposed to go live earlier and then do some music, but then um, that didn't happen. And we're gonna play CS2 now. We can make music while playing CS2, that's not a problem. That's that's possible. I could like alt tab and like work on something and you know. Team doesn't have to know. False advertising. I can multitask. Oh, I seriously didn't. Well, CS2, CS2 is always really funny. Plane, hello. Guys, I. Okay. Some days. Some days there's not a plan. I'm sorry. I know the, the stakes for content keep getting higher and higher and higher and some days when you go live there's just like no plan at all and that's how you know that's how you know you're fucking alive okay the imperfections are how you know it's real i was talking to a friend maybe they're watching right now <laughs> i was talking to a friend about um they were telling me like i only like live music performances where they actually play the instruments. And you know, I started poking at that. I'm like, okay, so you don't like EDM shows. They're like, correct, I don't, I don't like that. I'm like, okay, what do you feel about backing tracks? And they're like, uh, you know, that's kind of okay. I'm like, what about the situation during the Obama administration where if they actually played the live instruments, it would have been out of tune because of the cold weather. So they could have used carbon fiber, like cellos and violins, but those look too weird and alien for the general audience. So they pre-recorded everything before and just like mimed playing real instruments. And he's like, well, that's a special case. <laughs> but I think we, we landed on, we land, I mean, I understand where they're coming from. It's like, you kind of want to see someone like part of the artistry for some people is like, you know, their engagement with the, the real instrument. 
But then I realized, wait, so if you go to a concert and they intentionally like fuck up a note or like the guitar string breaks, that's even better, right? Like if there's a flaw in the performance, that makes it better. That makes it feel more raw. What does that have to do with PS music? If the dude's whipping out his penis live on stage, dude, you know it's real. You know it's there's no backing track. There's no fuck. There's no backing track if that's the case. Uh, does anyone know if you can do like game capture of CS2? Yeah, or no. Oh. No. You can't. Okay. Uh, window capture. Yeah, that's not working. Uh, game capture. I have to desktop capture CS2 with a flag. I'm not doing a flag. I'm sorry. Flag's not happening. Give OBS admin rights. Oh, that's right. I still haven't done that. Okay, maybe, maybe if we play or we end early, we can do funny music. Um... Guys, I need a title. I need a title for the stream. I can't think of one. And let me turn on channel points a bit. Uh, where's the flashbang? How was everyone's Wednesday? Where's my flashbang? And that clang attendance, yes. Oh, where's the flash? Am I crazy? Oh, it's here. Okay. Uh, death message. There we go. What's the name of the song? It's in this playlist. What's the stream title? Um, participating gaming. Big. Big G gaming. Capital G gaming. Uh, lying about making funny music. Not music stream. Making gun and bass music. I, I have, yeah, that is. Oh, why are titles so hard? Why are titles so difficult? Let's see what other people title their things. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I think I have the right title. It's like birthday stream, all caps, with. <laughs> I want to do that. Birthday stream with jams virtual. <laughs> I'm call. I'm calling you, dude. Pick up the phone. Wait, where's my... <laughs> oh, there we are. Wait, is this it? Oh, Hello? Hi. Dude, I am so sorry. I, I had my shit on uh, streamer mode. Dude. Open. I couldn't hear it. And I'm also playing... I'm playing Deathmatch right now. Okay. What's up? 
What's up, gamers? Um, let me actually. I uh, I'll be right back in 15 seconds. I'll be right back. How should we make the overlay? Um. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Here. Here's the. Here's the. All right, I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry I yelled at you. No, I, I, I'm I'm glad you did. Thank you, for real. Everyone in chat said I should apologize, but um, no, don't apologize. I, it, it was I, I okay. deserve to get yelled at for that. I had my I, I I was I had streamer mode on when I like wasn't even streaming. Isn't streamer mode? Wait, if you go streamer mode, can't you get banned for that? With OBS? Oh no, it's just, sorry, streamer mode on Discord, which just means it turns off notifications. Oh, no, I thought it meant, I meant like your person, I thought your personality was going streamer mode, like you were saying bad words and stuff. Oh, oh no, that's gamer mode. Oh, that's gamer mode. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to know. No, streamer mode is very similar. It's easy to confuse the two. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Like I haven't played in a little bit, but I'm I'm getting headshots. I'm able to shoot heads right now. I'm trying to make your overlay funny. This is um have you ever seen the Apple commercial? It's it's like a really old Apple commercial from like the early 90s. And um it's like this professor from Berkeley. He's interacting with like a mock-up of what would become the iPad like 20 years later. Have you seen this? What? No. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's like a vision of the future. It's like really interesting um, how they saw it. There's like a virtual AI, which is like a, a guy who's just being filmed, right? To say lines. But mm -hmm. in that, he like calls a guest lecturer to like give a guest lecture on deforestation. That's kind of like what I'm doing. It's like, can you be a guest lecturer on my stream today? Oh, I don't have anything planned. I would love to be your AI guest lecturer. Oh no, they use the AI to call like a real person. But I guess oh. in the future they would replace yeah all professors with AI yep. or something. Bo both of them would be AI then, or everybody in the commercial would be an AI. Yeah. Wait, send me that. I want to see this commercial. Let's wa let's watch it together. It's cool. Um, Apple Vision. I think I've showed my chat a few times, but it's one. Damn, I put Vision of the Future and it's like the uh, fucking Apple Vision. Oh, because the new thing is called Apple Vision. God damn it. <laughs> what do you think of the Apple Vision, by the way? I want it. I'm sorry. I'm going to work extra hard and like not eat for like three, five months. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> How you much can, is it again? You can come over and try it. I'm I'm embarrassed to even say the amount. It's like it's like three thousand or something. It's like it's over 3, like 000. uh yeah, it's like five Steam decks. Jesus. Um, but I might not actually do it, but um, some people I know got the Meta Quest three. And they said the pass through for it actually makes them really excited for the like the whole concept of pass through. So they're like, oh, the Vision Pro must be like actually insane. So we'll see. I'm sending you the video. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, this is five minutes? I thought this was like a commercial. Or is it five minutes? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's a skit. It's like a bit. Or it's like a long... <laughs> it's, it's, a... <laughs> it's a... It's a sketch comedy situation. That's that's funny. They're doing a little skit. Yeah, they're doing a little skit. No, oh no, no, man, no. this looks awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for the stream. Um, okay. We'll watch it together. I'll tell you when I'm starting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me when you press play. Okay, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking in the chat too. Okay. 
three. Oh, wait, hold on. Turn off Paul Allen's ambient jungle mix. Okay, three, two, one. Hello, Fishing Worth. Happy birthday. Oh, it's it's not my birthday. Sorry. We were just trying to think of a stream title and like I just chose birthday stream because I thought people would click through. It's a pretty good that people put up with a lot of bait, like clickbait, but for some reason, like wishing happy birthday when it's not somebody's birthday. Uh people get salty about that. I don't know why. Oh, it's super low Robert for me. Jordan, a second semester junior, requesting a second extension on his term paper. And your mother reminding you about your father. Surprise birthday party next Sunday. Today you have a faculty lunch at 12 o'clock. You need to take Kathy to the airport by 2. You have a lecture. Oh man, that that's his AI. Yeah, Illinois it's Mark Zuckerberg. Right. Let me see the lecture notes from last semester. That's kind of funny, making like your AI like. No, that's yeah, it's enough. his Nano. I need to review more recent literature. Pull up all the new articles I haven't. Have you give Nano a little Journal bow tie? Only? Mm -hmm, fine. Your friend Jill Gilbert has published an article about deforestation in the Amazon and its effects on rainfall in the Sub-Sahara. It also covers droughts effect on food production in Africa and increasing imports of food. Contact Jill. I'm sorry, she's not available right now. I left a message that you had called. Okay. Let's see. There's an article about five years ago, Dr. Flemson or something. He really disagreed with the direction of Jill's research. John Fleming of Uppsala University. He published in the Journal of Earth Science of July 20 of 2006. Yes, that's it. He was challenging Jill's projection of the amount of carbon dioxide being released to the atmosphere through deforestation. I'd like to recheck his figures. Here's the rate of deforestation he predicted. Mm hmm And what happened? Huh. Hmm. He was really off. Give me the university research network. Dude, this is just like the... Show only universities the, with geography notes. That one Tim and Eric sketch. Oh, this is? Yeah, this is Celery Man. This is just Celery Man. Yeah, pull up a graph. Celery Man is Dolly. This is a. Uh, this is like the the code interpreter the last on GPT. Years at this location <laughs> yeah. One month intervals. This is okay. This one that thing Excuse he just did me. with the card Jim that unfortunately will never Great. happen anymore. Wait, what did I did I didn't see Jill, what did he do? For getting back to me. Well, uh, he put a card into his like fake iPad that's Rumor supposed to be like a USB drive. Just put out the oh my god! Article on deforestation. That's so. Ah, that's really funny. Is this one of your typical last-minute panics for lecture material? No, 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 no. That's not until um. Four fifteen. <sighs> well, it's about the effects that reducing the size of the Amazon rainforest can have outside of Brazil. I was wondering um. It's not really necessary, but uh, is his uh, yes. nano like part of the call? <laughs> it would be great if you were a I think like AI. so. I guess, yeah. He's just like there. That's you sick. Up on the big screen, discuss your article, and then answer some questions from the class. And bail you out again? Well, I think I could squeeze that in. You know, I have a simulation that shows the spread of the Sahara over the last twenty years. Here, let me show you. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> the way that is, that is, that is like a Tim and Eric moment. These together. <laughs> yeah. Great. I'd like to have a copy of that for myself. Hmm. What happens if we bring down the logging rate to 100,000 acres per year? I hope he brings up a slider hmm. that like interesting turns down the logging this. and he could just control it Thanks from this thing. Time, I really appreciate it. No problem. But next time I'm in Berkeley, <laughs> there is a lot of silence in this. The dinner. dinner, right. See ya, 4:15. Bye-bye. 
They could not fathom like the lack of attention While span that future generations would <laughs> so have. Pick up the birthday cake. Mm, fine, fine, fine. Um, print this article before I go. Now printing. Only print okay, stuff. I'm going to lunch now. If Kathy calls, tell her I'll be there at two o'clock. Also, find out if I can set up a meeting tomorrow morning with um, Tom Lee. Enjoy your lunch. Hello, Professor Bradford is away at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Michael, this is your mother. I know that you're there. I'm just calling to remind you to call your sister and pick up. <laughs> It's always funny looking at, like, videos from the past and their, like, had the, like, how they try to predict the future where, like, some things are, like, extremely, like, absurdly advanced and other things are uh, not advanced at all. Yeah, I wonder what year they thought this was possible because I think it is, I don't know, I would say 80% correct. It's, I mean, it, it, this is mostly correct. It's just the, yeah. like the, the actual like concepts of stuff is correct. Like the, in abstract, like a lot of it is correct of what we would do. I, I think the, the biggest fumble is him not picking up the thing and bringing it with him. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, in this world, it assumes like, uh, like he, yeah. he cares about life outside the computer, which is not true. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Hold on. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, there's another I've never seen this one. Hold on. Apple's view of the future from 1990s. I've never seen this one. I'm sending it to you. It was send it to me. Send it to me. Young POTUS. We're, we're just watch. I didn't. We're just watching uh, vi Apple's like pre-produced videos of the futures from 1990. Okay. I'm oh, starting. Yeah, tell me whenever you're about to play. Three, okay. two, one. The only thing Lane predicted is that everyone would be super online. Mm-hmm. Really good teachers who do a lot of project-based activities with their kids really don't just open up the world to let the kids do anything. Really good teachers. The structure and the kinds of tools you put out for kids to work with actually sort of guide the way they are able to inquire and build and communicate their ideas we imagine for the future is sort of a workspace or desktop where teachers can just choose all the different tools they want drop them oh man place, go they had no and, fucking and idea what kids are going to be doing in the future the kinds of tools we're looking at and developing are ones that allow you to create learning actually they, they got this one thing 100 percent correct because all education software looks exactly like this but just in the year 2023 the colleagues in your district and beyond <laughs> AT&T commercials? Oh, I never, I've never seen them. Hi, hi. Uh, listen, I am totally stumped. I have this great unit on growth in nature, but I'm having a heck of a time really driving the point home. Uh, what are you looking for exactly? Well, I've got some great observation experiments, and I've got some great background material on cell growth, but... You're just not sure how to open the lesson. Yes. I do kind of like that UI. That's exactly it. That's my problem. Uh, you're in luck. I came across some really good time-lapse stuff last week. Worked great with my kids. Here, I'll send you a cyberlink. Yeah. They've got a whole series of shots like, well, like this one. Just browse through. You can choose the ones you like. This is perfect. Thank you so much. I, I wish again. Apple would go Listen, back to I'll UI that looks like this so me. bad. I'll be there. <laughs> I think that more companies should sell, like, in the same way music, the, the music hardware industry sells, like, re like vintage retro gear at a marked up price. That really I think Apple could do the exact same thing. Really drives curiosity. Like a, like Selling. a, a near the one to one Apple too. Really powerful mobile devices that would help. Just like, but like just reproduced in 2023. And, and work would it be like? Not, would it not work with like anything from the future? Or like 
anything in modern times real, or yeah, maybe not technologies yeah. is that kids would have the opportunity to mm. connect to other sources of information to ask questions to compare and contrast it hey, analyze. Zuzu, thank you for right joining bits he wants us to rp that you're from 1990 and i have to explain what skibbity toilet is to you when kids get back to the class all right well yeah uh their experiences through powerful multimedia presentations okay sure that really um i'm uh what's up of the experience what's up dude i'm from the 90s i just skateboarded here my hat is on backwards and i'm dude, you playing can't with say those words anymore in 2023 that's messed up even to remote locations um, what why not <laughs> A little editing. I could use this footage in our diorama here at the park. Now nah, I'm distracted by the video. You guys. Absolutely. Are you talking about the video? Oh. <laughs> now nah, I'm just distracted. <laughs> when we had a very small information space, it was practical to think about people going through and indexing at least what they thought were the big ideas and the key concepts. Now, where the information space is literally global and includes not just text but images and sounds. Uh, the models we've used in the past to do our searches simply aren't adequate. So the notion is to develop tools that make it easier and easier to navigate with purpose through that sea of information. Tools that are smart enough, intelligent enough to be sensitive to context. There's work being done with intelligent agents. Oh, that thank you, look at the kind Yeah, of each little channel point reward I make is like a little personally value like channel point IED. And and one day it's gonna blow up the channel. Hours and hours at a time, paring down the thousands <laughs> of potentially relevant pieces of information to the few high quality ones that you really want to spend your time on. Oh dear father, it is thy business that I go about. No blown ambition doth our arms incite, but love, dear love, and our aged father's right. So now, in spite of the fact that he kicked her out of the family, you could watch that on a computer. To her father and doesn't stop loving him. That must have been crazy back then. Great educators challenge their students with big ideas. Ideas that have to be thought about and researched over long periods of time. The real advantage to anywhere, anytime computing the way we're thinking about it is that no matter where students were, they'd be able to get back to their own personal desktop and continue working on that project, on that big idea. Hey, did you guys read a Nakamura article? Get this. He says... Oh, that was, that's like absolutely right true, what he just said. Oh, yeah, I missed it. What did he say? Oh, he was just talking about like, oh, if you're working so, like, on yeah, shit, you can go like anywhere and like yeah, keep on working on the same I'll thing oh, from yeah, yeah. wherever you are. That that's just cloud and you can do the other computing. Six. Yeah, or like at least a guys. component of cloud computing. The tools that we imagine for the future are really based on the technologies that we have today. Our responsibility is to make sure that this guy, every, this kid needs to brush up on his typing skills. It was like a yeah. five second shot, but Not it was just terrible. To them to find more yeah. data, but to, it to was, gain real oh knowledge. man, could you imagine like the average real typing real speed back then? I was, was watching a mech keyboard video and like he was like testing, like he was doing a fan meet and people were coming up to his mech keyboard fan meet to do a typing test. And they were averaging like 60 to 80 words per minute. Which mm -hmm. I feel is pretty slow. 60 Unless... to 80? I wonder, it must have been way worse back then. Yeah. Well, I it mean, was like. Probably like five back then. I mean, like today, it's. I would imagine people are maybe averaging 90. Isn't I haven't. It? I haven't done one of those tests in a long time. 60 to 80s consider above average. Whoa. Well, that makes sense then because if if he's uh, yeah. meeting with mechanical keyboard enthusiasts, I mean, they're probably typing all the time. True. You didn't learn how to type properly until high school. Well, how did you learn how to properly type? I learned in elementary school and we had to like go to the computer lab and basically do exercises constantly. Um, and at some points when we did like, we had to do like timed typing tests and then we had to Whoa. put boxes over our like our fingers. Um, 
like it's not boxes over like the the keyboard and like our hands <laughs> could type on it so we we wouldn't look down a box over your hands and box over your head yeah um yeah but i went to ibm elementary school no i didn't <laughs> I think I I think we learned like a little bit of typing when I was little, but like I didn't really solidify my skills until I I got typing of the dead. Ooh. And playing typing of the dead like really made me good at typing. Had manila folders to cover our hands were just dang. You want to play? Yeah, I'm, I'm loading up. So what do you think of the future that Apple envisioned? I mean, I'm living it, so I like it. I I really like the way the UI looked. I, I, I wish I'd wish uh, I wish we had that. Whoa. Are you choosing using right? I can choose. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, uh, everyone's saying like happy birthday, thank you, but it's no one's birthday. It's just like the stream title for engagement, basically. Because I noticed yeah. um, that when people have birthday streams, it's like really popping. <laughs> I, I saw Night Raider is actually having a birthday stream today and I stopped by. But in general, this was not prompted by their birthday stream. This is just a, a general. Uh, you can say you can say happy birthday still. Yeah. As yeah, like yeah. A for fun. I mean, I think everyone should celebrate their birthday on stream like once a month because it's like, you know, it's good. It's happy. It's in the title. It's a fun day. You have to pick. You have to pick. You're the host for some reason. Oh, I am? Oh, okay. Do um, uh, Office. I've been playing a lot of Office if you want to do Office. Competitive Office? Yeah, I've been playing comp office. It's pretty good. All right, competitive. Let's let's do it. Happy birthday, Bradley. Speak exactly. Uh, I have you been playing? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Did you see that post with? I think it was Vertigo, where somebody said the the guy who designed the map said that he used like a pot handle as like a handle for a door. Did you see that? No. Oh, well, I'm sure I go find it on Twitter. Um. I don't know if it's on CS2. That ha there has to be like a there's like a game idea that you can make based on that. You know what I mean? Like you have to design a door, but like you only get models that are not door like. And then you have to like kind of put it together to look the most like a door. Oh, <laughs> you have to like uh you're given it's like a i guess it's kind of a a modification of that one game the the prop hider game yeah prop hunter maybe like you have a prop that you just have to hide in a room and you just make it look inconspicuous but then that seems like a more boring version of just prop hunt hunter where you get to actually be the prop i i was wrong. reading uh a while ago Someone was writing about, I think the artist on Firewatch wrote, wrote about how, like, all the rocks are only, like, ten rocks, but, like, there's, like, a jillion rocks in Firewatch, and you just turn things around. And, like, I, I didn't know anything about 3D modeling. I'm like, that's crazy, but that also makes a lot of sense. Yeah. We must win. You haven't played CS? Tazen. In days and it bombs you out. P Everyone's been saying that they hate CS2. Why? Why does everybody hate CS2? It's like the same way people say they hate America. They're still here though. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think like 
to be honest, they like didn't port over everything. Like there's no gun game, there's nothing. And I think there are probably hitbox issues, but it's like easy to play in hitbox issues. Mm. Yeah. Like the fact that you can prove their hitbox issues and then feel like their hitbox issues is like not great. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Also, everyone's better than me, which makes this game stupid and bad. Yeah. This sounds like a bunch of crybabies to me. I, I, do, I do really want gun game. I want deathmatch so with um, teams. Like, I want TDM. I don't like the FFA right now. It's too much. It's funny because, like, it... every it, Everybody is on the... You know, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh my god. I lost us that match possibly. I saw that spray. Sad. Do you think you're going to make music tonight? Or is it just going to be CS? I Are you going to multitask? I don't know if I can multitask. <laughs> I was excited for you to, for what you were going to make. I don't I don't really know. I didn't really have an idea. I need a vibe. You wow. you told me an idea. Oh yeah, but I, I don't know if I was going to do it. I thought about it more. I got him. Never mind, I don't got him. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, the latency is kind of weird. I'm at like 60, everyone's like on 50. Oh. oh yeah. Get your latency down, dude. I'm on... I'm on 53. Countering those strikes. Well, I guess we are the. Yeah, we are being st struck at by CTs on this map. I, I I feel like I haven't countered it. Terrorists win. You think you can kill us? Oh, nice. Won that one. Yeah, we can we can win this. Thank you for the birthday wishes, but it's not my birthday. I'm sorry. It's I, I just put it in the title because like it would get people to click through and watch the stream. So I, I didn't mean to lie to you, you know. You understand, right? It's like there's, streamers gotta play the game. Uh oh shit. I mean it's fun too. Yeah, I I mean I mean oh whoa 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 whoa. What the f it was my, I guess, like, some personal information. My birthday did pass this year. So, like, I didn't do a birthday stream. So, like, maybe this this is the one, you know? Maybe. Oh, nice. Is there one more? Or two more? It's two more. No! <laughs> this guy's MVP music is the Talus Principle. This game's really loud, sorry. Uh... Yeah, that's me. Uh, when I, Whenever Shindig talks, I get scared. I'll turn you up relative to the game. I'm throwing a flashback. Oh, it is very loud. What the heck? Okay, I'll turn it down in a, in a bit.
Did... Huh? What's wrong? Uh... If it's some guy was camping in, like, break room with a shotgun, and then, uh, so we were both watching the break room, this guy walks in, headshots me immediately in the face, and the guy to my right who's camping, like, doesn't do anything and just dies. He, like, I guess just gave up. Hmm, that's, that's a little suspicious. Yeah, this is a CT-sided map, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm on Shindig's uh, shoulder, telling him to do uh, evil stuff to get up to some mischief. Wait, are we on timeout right now? Yeah. What's going on? Not sure. Oh, are we missing somebody? Oh. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's out of the game right now. There's only four of us here. They let me know if the audio levels are better. Oh, wait, that guy mm -hmm. who killed me, I did 97 damage to him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 148, thank you for following. I'm sorry I lied to you that it was anyone's birthday. It, I mean, to be fair, if I were to be like a title lawyer, it doesn't specify whose birthday it is. Very true. That's And that's very important. I mean, it, yeah, it could be anybody's. It's got to be somebody's birthday today. Yeah. People are born every day. That's something to celebrate. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what would be an event that would be the most... That would get the most views. Like, uh... Like, uh... Um... The ac just just a title that's like the accusations are not true or something. I'm giving away my stream key. I think giveaway is effective to some extent, like an actual giveaway or something. Yeah. This is a warm-up game. Uh... Divorce? <laughs> oh my god, this other team is crazy. Jesus, yeah. They're... I think they're hacking. Yeah, probably. 12 Gazania. Sorry, it's not actually my birthday. Maybe I can make a command or something. Or if the chat can please, like, inform new viewers coming in. It's not actually my birthday. Or anyone's birthday, really. It doesn't specify in the title. You should just pretend it's your birthday. Who cares? It's Night Raider's birthday, actually, for real. So we're celebrating their birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool that it's both of your birthdays today. Hit it. Oh. Okay, hope this opera gets this dude. Man, 
And this team is really good. It's tough. I, I miss short matches. No way! No way, I fucking whiffed that. Oh my god. The hell. Alright, I- okay. It's true, this- Something happened in this game, it's bad now, cause I'm not doing good in it. There is, like, um... Some people are saying Peeker's advantage is, like, way better in this game for some reason. So if you're the one peeking, you, I don't know, like the way it renders who's on the screen is better for you. But I don't know if that matters. I mean, yeah, it Dude, does I, matter for us. It does matter for our level. It's important. I love, I love that show with Silly and Murphy. Peeker's advantage. <laughs> Peaky's uh, peaky advantage. Did you ever watch that show? No. Peaky Blinders? What's it about? It's kind of. I don't. I watched the whole first season. I they're they're. I think they're in England. Uh. And everything's really dirty, and I think they're like a gang. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen it on TikTok. Yeah, it's funny because they're like, you just see yeah, silly silly Murphy like walking down like the grossest hallways. Oh my god! We got him. Oh, you got one of those kills. Oh, uh, that was team. That was good teamwork. Nice. Oh, look out! Got him. Let's go. Uh, what I'm anime watching right now? Oh, I'm watching Monster. Have you seen Monster? No. Is it? I've heard it's good though. Is it? Good? It's good. Yeah, I'm really liking it. And, and it's like, it makes me, um, I kind of want to get back into gatekeeping a little bit. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm watching it, I'm like, man, this anime is good, and most anime now is bad. You know what I mean? So, um... How, that's an older one, though, right? It is older, yeah. It's like mid-2000s. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a lot of great anime in a while. That's funny because I'm I'm drinking a monster right now. That you brought a monster. Can you do that? You can drink monster before going to bed. Yo. That's crazy. It's probably not. It's probably not good. I I. Yeah, I don't think it's like a, I'm, I'm looking at like older series of like rose tinted glasses. I think like we should actually keep anime made after like 2009 or something. Oh, thanks for the AK. Let's go. Let's go. I kind of, I don't, yeah, I kind of agree. Any, but I mean, I, I want to say that like a lot of new anime I've seen I'll watch the beginning and I'll be like, oh, this, this isn't great. And then I stop watching it, which doesn't feel like a fair That's true. judgment. But I think all my favorite animes are kind of older. And Fire in the hole. they are churning out a lot of anime. Going to Akihabara in 2023 is it, 
It feels like everywhere I look is just a new thing that I've never seen before. Yeah. Thank you, Crazy Kitty. Crazy Kitty is like, I don't know if you've seen them around in chats, but they have like a Twitch chat client in Godot. So every message they send says like, this message is sent from Godot. Not really. With like rich, te rich text label markings and stuff. This was sent from Godot. That's, that's sick. I've never seen anyone do that with Unity. What, this was sent from Unity? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna somehow embed the Unity splash screen on every message I send. People who used, I, I think a lot of people are like embarrassed to use Unity. They're just like, ah, yeah, I use it. <laughs> when you ask somebody like, was this made in Unity? Their response is like, yeah, it's like the only thing I know. Whereas people who are into Godot are, are very outspoken about it. It's like the iPhone of game engines right now. You even have like a scent for my iPhone thing going on in the chat right now. Uh. Did we lose? We did lose. We're, we're gonna lose, I think. I think we could turn this around. Yeah, never, never give up. We have Peeker's advantage. Wimpy. Yeah, we all... This this is a Godot-friendly stream. This can't be too friendly to Godot, because I use Unity, and all the Godot people are going to start, like, beating me up. That's, like, a made-up thing that Unity people, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, an That's actual like made-up... <laughs> Bullying me. Yeah, it's like, hey, the Godot, the the Godot evangelist got to turn it down because it's like too weird for Unity people or whatever. Like this is a made up, this is a made up conflict. <laughs> I'm being persecuted by the Godot fan base. Yeah. I'm not surrendering. You beat oh, up fuck, you... I put the wrong gun. Oh, you can refund. Dude, that's the best thing that they've added to this game is yeah, refunding yeah. shit. They took that. I'm so glad they added that. Yeah, it's from Valorant. Or I mean Valorant added it, but like that's a it's a good change. Oh. You beat up a Unity person just the other day. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm screen capping that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in a my folder <laughs> of uh uh, Godot bullying. I think you should actually tweet that because it's it. My sense for like misinformation is getting better, and I think that would that's actually that would actually cause like in a, a situation online. <laughs> <laughs> Just another day being a Unity developer and getting harassed by Godot. Uh, yeah. This Godot is the, bros. Yeah. <laughs> Godot bros. <laughs> when the Unity thing oh was happening, uh, Jonathan Blow made a tweet about Unity bros, which I thought was super funny. Because in his head, it's like you're either a Unity bro or you like code your entire engine from scratch. <laughs> you either work in Unity or you've been working on the same engine building like uh the same weird looking 3d game for like the last like 12 years of your life yeah oh i got one win on this on that map I i'm down to keep going on it or dust or anything anything you want uh whatever you want i feel a little bit i feel a little warmed up we can do, we can add like dust and mirage into the, no, into the mix. Okay, that sounds good. Godot bros for life. Godot bros is such a funny concept.
Yeah, good, I'm, I'm, good, Godot Bros are gatekeeping Godot by like, um, they're slowing down the C sharp integration. They're forcing. They're no. F- <laughs> they're, the, Godot Bros force everyone to use GD script. I'm ne- I'm never gonna use it then. All right, I'll do Dust to a Mirage. Maybe I kind of want to try Vertigo, but maybe we'll do that next next time or i'll put it in the loop someone's talking shit about no this is a pro godot stream but what i what i'm 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 I'm, I'm saying unity i'm i'm soon i'm saying unity heads have like such a victimhood complex you know it's like a mindset all this shit is gonna get clipped and i'm gonna get fucking destroyed we've had such a bad (laughs) month though and godot bros are just kicking us while we're on the ground but unity but unity heads were like hey this game engine that's like run by a giant vc company that recently went public yeah they have my best interests in mind that's totally like the right decision for me oh okay listen i'm sorry that all the best games were made in unity and it it feels like a a safe bet and i think uh godot bros are just taking advantage of an unfortunate situation I'm, that's all I'm saying. Unity had a bad t- t- I've never seen a one person, and I never fucking will. Oh my that's god. True. Yeah, Unity has had a bad uh, lifetime. Oh my god, Void Burger, thank you for the raid. Oh wow. Thank you. Oh my god, they're spamming, they're spamming a Menmo emote. Oh shit, nice. Wait, it's not my birthday. Oh, hold on, it's not my birthday. It's just, Happy um... Break. Oh Nick. shit, if you raided me because you thought it was my birthday, um... You it, were right. No, it no, 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 it's a lie. I literally put it in the title because I couldn't think of a title. And I'm like, what What gets people to click on your stream? And then it's like... It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's your birthday. That's it my... Worked, it worked. So. It did work, I think. It did work, yeah. Happy, happy birthday, Shindigs. It's not my birthday. But I, I think we should normalize just having like any stream be a birthday stream. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, <laughs> it was my birthday like pretty recently. Now is the time. So, I don't know. If anyone wants to be that, uh, that upset, I could just, I could, I could pull that out. Like, don't be a slave to a specific date of the year to like, you know, get hype. You know what I mean? Like, your birth, your, your date of birth doesn't have a non- monopoly on like a hype day. And there's so many cool things on birth- like birthday cake flavor is such a cool flavor for things that like the idea that you can only have it one day a year. Yeah. That's sad. That's a- You raided me because I'm not doing an experimental thing that would be ruined by a 100 person raid. <laughs> that that actually is great when uh, like a thousand people show up and then everything breaks. But you, you should do that. Yeah, that's that's stress testing. Yeah, but lately people have been raiding and being like, and I like I know for sure they're saying, oh, he does like experimental stuff and they'll show up and I'm like, I'm actually literally just playing CS2, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Can you, uh, do you have anything in the works? Do you have anything that, like, a, a redeem you could activate that's, like, half-baked right now? Um, some people can use the flashbang. That's, that's fun. We can, can you, uh, can you make it so that there's, like, no cooldown? And that, like, oh, Jesus. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Deploying flashbang. For the flashbang, no, but for... I don't know. You know what? I could make a redeem that is like once redeemed per user, but at like a thousand, it just ends the stream. You know what I mean? So it, it would like require, it would require a super high raid to actually activate. 
Ooh, yeah. I mean, maybe you can like spawn something, like some sort of 3D object mm -hmm. that takes up like a little bit of like video memory and eventually just crashes like the stream if it's yeah. Oh, you could have like maybe uh, uh, as each like each person comes now in. Oh no, never mind. This would be really dangerous. I was gonna say like have like spawn like a TTS guy. Yeah. And like everybody's like first thing they say spawns a new guy and he says like whatever the fir their first chat message is. Ooh. And then so if you have a bunch of people, if you have like a big raid, then like there's gonna be hundreds of those potentially. Wait, Voidburger, what were you playing? Sorry. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just pushing along. Things are happening. Oh my god, thank you so much. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Was it just us? Fuck. Yeah, we got this. I can't watch Cat. I'll watch that. I, tr I trust you. I would trust you with my life and Counter Strike in in real life. Oh, playing Final Fantasy Nine. Oh, yay! I haven't played Final Fantasy Nine ever. I haven't either. Which of the Final Fantasy games have you played? Seven. I'm like, I made it through partially through the seven remake. It's not bad. I just didn't finish it. And uh, eight. Eight's. I really like eight. They should do the remake thing with with eight. They should like remaster the whole thing, basically. I haven't played Final Fantasy. Like I've only played Final Fantasy ten, mm -hmm. and I think uh, uh, some other one. The way people talk about Final Fantasy VIII makes it sound like if you like Final Fantasy VIII, you're really cool. That it's a. I think because it's like the more mature one. It's like a. It's like Majora's Mask of, of the series. I could be totally wrong about that. Yeah, it kind it's going off of vibes. The way people describe it. It's just like doesn't yeah. get talked a lot about. It, or it doesn't get talked about a lot, basically. So it's one of those things that we're like, I think eventually everyone will talk about it and then it fades into the same. But I think because seven is, um, I don't know. I think seven and eight have very similar vibes. Like they never, I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy that went back to like the seven to eight uh, vibe. Cause they're, they're almost like modern ish industrial punk mm. nine's much more like fantasy ish right yeah so like nine's fantasy like actual yeah like medieval ish fantasy uh 10 is like its own thing which i think it deserves like you know what people like it 10 2 is the same 11 is basically like fantasy, like 9. 12 is closer to, I think, like 9. 13 is closer to 10. Like, I wouldn't say 13 is close to like um, 7 or 8. And yeah, so maybe 15 is closest to like Final Fantasy 7. No, 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 it's not. It's not. And so. Like, there's a call. There's a car in 15, but like, other than that, it's like pretty much, I think, fantasy. Oh, they all have, is that the one consistent thing? They all have chocobos? That's like how every Soulsborne game has patches. Grenade. Yeah. How many are on the site? One. Oh my god. Oh, one more on the site. Oh, nice. Oh, no. They got me so. Okay. I think everyone left. Oops. I forgot to do the shout I'm doing the late shout out. 
Thank you, Void Burger, for the raid. Every time I see that burger, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to order a burger. Mm. What was the last kind of burger you had? Uh, I had a cheeseburger recently. It was good, with like, um, really thick onions. Ooh. Get him. Got him. One cat. Made it. He got me. Yeah, it's Shindig's birthday today. It's like actually today, which is uh It's not today. <laughs> I was trying yeah, to... no, it's it's this weekend, but you're just you're just gonna celebrate it today. <laughs> Thank you. It was my birthday recently. Recently enough, I guess within within the last thirty days. You're still eligible for your birthday. It's like a prime sub. You you can use it within like thirty days. I don't know. One thing, um, I don't know when Nano's birthday is. He tells me a different date every time I ask. I, I just need to, like, take a date and stick to it. But, uh, one thing that I did, there was, a uh, it was round table pizza, which is, like, a, I didn't really realize this, but it's a California-only thing. Um, they have like a, they have a birthday club for kids where you can like fill out a card, like fill out your birthday, either a card or like do it online. And I filled out like a fake birthday for every month. And mm -hmm. I basically got a free like little pizza like once a month when I'm I was younger. That, that was like the, that was like the coolest game I ever did. That's your. That was your first misinformation campaign. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Yeah, just a just a quick uh, little uh, unethical life pro tip. But what I'm saying is, you can do that on Twitch because, like, your your <clears throat> chat will know, but like people will raid you who don't know, right? And that that's bound to happen like at least once a month. Right. Absolutely. I. You go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. Like, what if you just post it on Twitter once a month? I'm celebrating my birthday. Like, will people call you out? Because you kind of look like a dick if you call someone out to be like, "Hey, your birthday was just last it's month." It's not your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck you. It's not your birthday. <laughs> yeah, especially if you delete your. Well, that guy was being an asshole. I can't think. Sorry. Like this what is happened? the this is the play. You make your birthday tweet like once a month, and then after the stream you delete it. And then so people can't unless people like go back and dig. Right? Like they won't know. They can't they can't prove it. <laughs> you could all, oh you you know what you could do too? You could just say it's your anniversary but not be specific about it. Oh. Like, oh, it's my anniversary. Like, that sounds like... That sounds like a, an important event. Or you could do a follower amount celebration or make it seem like it's a follower amount, like 10k celebration, mm -hmm. but it's just, uh, I don't know, like 10k, like There's something. Yeah, dollars. 
Yeah, you just you got ten thousand dollars of your student loans forgiven. Yeah. Which is uh is that actually happening? Or is that like not happening? I I don't know. What? What's up with that? I, it feels like they're I, not gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it like during election year, if I were to What's up, Kawa plays? We one's on side, he's hurt. Ooh! I was gonna say we're struggling, but he's got two kills. Nice. You can apply for a plan that brings your monthly payment down to zero, but you have to make less than 30 something thousand a year. Dang. Oh no. That sounds like, that sounds pretty accurate. Or sounds like something that would happen. So many dang rules. You're gonna have to be like, yeah, it's gonna be super means tested. You have, you have to be starting like a specific type of business. And it's like only a loan that's like repayable after a certain amount of time. But somehow, also, like some fucked up, like Southern Ca Southern California mattress owner is gonna like abuse that and like make a million dollars off of it. <laughs> yeah, they they don't have to pay it back, but like real students do. Oh fuck! I have the bomb. Oh my god. What's long? Oh my god! They're they're oh, in pit. pit. There's like they're all hanging out in pit. They're having a pit party. Down. Plant safe. That's exactly why I, I don't feel bad about getting a little free pizza once a month. <laughs> I don't I don't do it anymore, but uh, in retrospect, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, you're like, that's the equivalent of like, a kid, like, uh, pandemic loan. It's like, you didn't need that free <laughs> That was, yeah, that was like, yeah, my little kid PPP loan. My, my pizza party, uh, <laughs> pizza party pizzazz loan. That I never had to, I never had to pay those pizzas back. Is probably pushing mid, I think. Oh no. Yeah, I think he's pushing. What a fucking idiot. I was stupid. I had the bomb. Terrorists win. Are we doing? Oh, we're winning. I didn't even realize we were winning. I know. We're doing our, really bad. Our team is really good. It's about time. When I, whenever I, I I've said this before, whenever I'm like at the top of the leaderboard, I'm like worried because that's not a good sign. Yeah, it's not good. You want you want the team to be good. Tobias deserves a PPE P -P -E loan. There's like a, there's a bunch of cat, or not cat, uh, long. Can't look. Bomb has been planted. Oh. No, it's one guy left. Smoke effects are really good. Counter terrorists win. That's like the big selling point of this game is the smokes look good. It, like legitimately in the trailer, it's 
possibly like 20 to 30 percent of the trailer they're like we redid the smokes mm -hmm. your 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 vape clouds are gonna look so crazy in the new in this new source engine someone should make a vape game uh b I'm running the beat. There are two people in spawn. What the heck? Bomb has been planted. Wait, where all... did they plant? Did they plant B? I don't know. I think there's a chance we actually lose this because we're all low health. Now we got it. Oh. oh. <laughs> where was the last guy? Uh, car. That was very unfortunate. I'm gonna save. Yeah, same. The smoke effects being a selling point is funny because every time I hear somebody talk, like anybody, any veteran of Counter-Strike like talk about the smokes, it just seems like they hate it. Oh my God, we just lost the No. There was, I think there was like an issue in CSGO with the smokes. I, I, I don't know about it 100%, but um. There was like a CSGO issue with smokes, and then when they m moved to CS2, for a little while during the beta, Molly, the smokes Molly. were too strong because they were like Make sure you Molly. way you're too there. big. That smoke's too strong. Vape cloud. We're going in. Uh, the death noises are a little... The smoke cap. Wait, why is everybody running up mid? I don't know. Did they plan that? We like went to the- we each like went to... Let's go, yellow! Yeah. Oh shit. He's in spawn. Oh, no. Oh. No! I don't know, we're just throwing. I was doing really good. Move it, move it. Might be a long way. Oh, uh, cat, be careful, cat. Care, cat. I'm not watching mid, I'm going to cat. You see him. Nice. Ooh, nice. Get him, get him. Nice, we all survived. Do you think you're going to finish that clown song? Honestly, I don't know if I can because the tempo of the song changes so many times. I mean, I, it would take like a real yeah. amount of effort to do it because it's like I have to find the tempo changes. Just treat it like a challenge. Um, yeah, I could see that. Oh, fuck. They're long. Are they all long? Yeah. Okay. One's up, one was mid. Bro, they're all long. This guy in mid is. Ooh, 
Ooh. Are these guys like Did you see that? Yeah, he boosted. Maybe he just took advantage of it. It's like a common. Spell. Um. Yeah, maybe they're like talking in a in a separate Discord. Yeah, it, they did it quick enough hold. where it didn't seem like it was actually. Okay, I'm gonna switch to A since you guys are retarded. So much to go B though. Let's go, fellas. My purple did, you, you. did you turn off voice chat? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I should. I should. These are not friendly people. Flash B. I'll be. I, if I stream this Morby. game, I always turn off voice. Yeah, I know, I forgot. I don't know lit. Honestly, I have not. It, it's nothing bad. Right, if, if, you, if you guys hear anything Mid. bad, it's not us. It's just the average Counter Strike player, which we are not. Oh, shit. Uh, Xbox, Xbox. Bomb, bomb is this guy's lit. Well, that's a lie. That's a lie. I um, I was in a game where they the dude was dropping, like, gamer capital G gamer words. And uh, I mean, no one liked him, but I immediately muted him. That was crazy. There was I was in a deathmatch round where some I like I recorded part of it. Somebody like a guy was trying so hard to like offend everybody and He was just I mean he was just saying like every, every bad thing you can think of yeah. and but He sounded so he, he sounded so pathetic and like at a certain point he did like for some reason started like talking about the fact that like he didn't have many friends <laughs> and like I like I started feeling bad for him He was just trying to like shock everybody, but then like started started talking about how like he used to have a friend he would play this game with, and like that friend like stopped playing with him. So was the logic like you say a slur three times in the mirror and your friend comes back? I don't know. I said like I I said like I think I think the way you're talking is why. People might not want to play with you. <laughs> and. <laughs> he did say maybe you're right. I was, I was just, I was just like, man, you can't be talking like this. Like people are just going to mute you. And it's like, it's not fun. You you gotta you gotta you gotta get a bit more mature and like it's a rated M game. Yep. Oh my god, I just got saved. The guy I was playing with. Oh you're shit. We just have to win one more round. This guy. This guy is buying a scout every round, which is nuts to me. Oh, he might win us the game with it, though. He's got very low health. Oh, no. Oh! Yeah, that won oh. us the game. There was the guy I was playing with and he started like dropping mad slurs. We were playing ranked office and like for sure this guy's silver because he's ranked with us. And I just wrote in the chat like he was saying slurs because we weren't doing good. He's like, oh, you're not like watching these angles. You're not like playing these things. I'm like, dude, we're playing fucking office in silver. <laughs> You're fucking locked in with us, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to a different map, man. Where? Yeah. This is a hostage map. Yeah, and you're the hostage. <laughs> there's, there's like goofy posters of like it's. There's a snowman. You can shoot. You can like shoot the snowman. 
because he has a goofy hat on. Like this is like not the, not a very serious place. Oh, we won that. I did. I just sorry. I just didn't even realize we won that round. All right. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna add vertigo. Okay. Are you okay with that? I'm down. I think. You know what? That might actually be good because no one knows how to play vertigo. At least, maybe in this situation. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how to play vertigo. I just know it's the U2 um, Apple song. <laughs> I have a. Is there? Okay, you're a. You're an Apple. You're a lifelong Apple head. You. You've been in. You were born and you grew up in the ecosystem. No, 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 no. no I'm not. No, I'm. I'm a born again Apple head. I was never. Okay. I was an Android bro, and then I saw the. I saw the Apple Care light and became born again. Okay. But you you're you're definitely far more into it than I am. Mm -hmm. Cuz I like just started. Oh, nice we got Mirage. What? Why does every iPhone come with U2? Does it still do that? I is, is that still I, thing? I, I have an iPhone 14. It's the first iPhone I ever owned and like it has U2 on it and I'm just like this is like this is you can't be this is embarrassing. I mean, they always did that since like the iPod, but I don't know yeah, the reason why. why. Is it like a? Is it like a curse? Like why? <laughs> did did they do something bad? Then like they're like being blackmailed. They have to have U two on everything. U two has some shit on Tim Cook. <laughs> I don't even know if that helps them. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I think because like I don't use Apple Music, but it's installed and I can't uninstall it. When I press like play on my headphones, it'll just play like, oh, there's like nothing on. So it'll just play Apple Music. So like every once in a while, like I'll just be listening to, I'll press play and nothing will be on and I'll just start playing YouTube and like, there's like a decent chance that my phone just starts playing U2, which is uh insane. I've never heard about that problem. I, I it might just be. I'm also using a Galaxy Buds, so maybe that's a that's dude, a punishment. You're not, I'm not. You're not I'm beating. Not fully... the, you're not beating the Unity Bro allegations, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This has this this has nothing to do with uh unity nor my uh my constant harassment from the Godot community. It's uh this is specifically an Apple thing. I had I was talking last night about Apple and like like my iPhone. I had to stop just because I was like this is not I can't be a guy that does this, that complains about his phone. That's not good. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Uh... Anyway, what I was gonna ask you is, is there a way to get you 2 off your phone? Like, is there a way to, like, delete it? I'm sure you could look it up. I have no idea. Because it should just be a file. It's just a, a file on your iPhone. Good luck finding it. Why is this garbage glowing over here? I can't see it. Oh, it's uh no, it's a, oh the someone... bomb is here. Wait, what was the bomb there? I just looked over. It looked like the garbage was glowing. That was weird. You two can't be deleted. That's insane. I think it can be deleted, and you're like exhibiting insane. Uh, hold on, we gotta take the site. You're projecting your Unity tendencies onto Apple right now. What? Because I don't, I don't want an old, uh, an old like boomer uh, band on my phone. No, because you read something in the chat that said 
you two couldn't be deleted and then you like ran with it. You believed it and you're like, this fits my understanding on how the iPhone works. <laughs> I guess you're right. Like iPhone bros are bullying me that I want to delete you two off my <laughs> phone and force me to use GD script on my iPhone. I have a workaround on my Mac. That's okay. Every time I like, whenever like, so just for context, like I recently switched from being always on Android to now having I an iPhone and a MacBook. I love my MacBook. MacBook is sick. It has like, the the battery life is uh is insane. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem real. It seems it's like magic. How how long I've had it. But uh, anytime there's some weird annoying thing that I point out, everybody who has an iPhone's like, oh, stupid, you don't know? You have to like do this weird workaround so that uh, when your phone tries to launch YouTube, it does a like short, you have to set up this shortcut so that it creates an action that, d that like stops YouTube from playing, but it has to play it uh, some other Spotify thing. And that's the, that's the workaround that everybody does. And we're okay with it for some reason. Okay. True. But don't it's like a... unity to love. Don't unity like if you're a unity developer, isn't that whole workaround thing, your entire personality though? Not true. We, uh, not true. Unity has. Because every Twitter thread on Unity developing is like, oh, I did this crazy workaround to get this sphere to rotate. That's just game development, am I right, brothers okay. and sisters? Okay, well, that is game development. Game development as a whole is just software. You're doing development. it right now! You're, do you're doing it right that's, now. But that's all of game development. Godot has to do the same thing. Godot is, is like probably equally as the number of workarounds, if anything more. It's, it's a, like... Games are like a, they're like a miracle type of software. They shouldn't, like, they shouldn't happen because they're, it's, it's all smoke and mirrors. I don't believe to, that. To get it to work. I think making games is easy. No, I'm not lost in the sauce. I'm cooking right now. Game <laughs> development is smoke and mirrors. And like this, if you're, that's fine for video games. But if you're making hardware that millions of people use on a daily basis for professional work, Having workarounds for everything is unacceptable. <laughs> Games want to die; they're hanging by a thread. It's sad, but it's kind of—it's we're slowly getting there. We are going to I had to use Linux for work. I just like back end uh, stuff. Unix is fine. I think there should be someone out there who who's a game developer who just is like, this shit's easy, dude. It's like not smoke and mirrors, it's like really straightforward. I think those are game maker devs. Maybe. <laughs> Cause, because they're the type of person to see software that says game maker and they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, I'm making a game with this. It works. Right. Dude, that's my mentality. <laughs> Dude, I just made a game with game maker. <laughs> So stupid. Like, what are you coding? Game Maker screen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use for art? No, you just, you just do it all in Game Maker. You can't. You can do. You can do everything in Game Maker. Dude, that's the perfect software pattern. I agree. That's. I had to use a uh, Unity or a uh, TikTok like streaming yeah. app. Cause they have their own and it, it is literally like an all-in-one app it's just obs but uh you do everything in it 
And it's, it's actually insane very that simplified. it's insane that that streaming isn't Planted. like that though. If you think about it. Well, that it's like all in one. Yeah. For... It is very complicated. More complicated than it seems to need to be. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. We, we might still win because we have the bomb now. Oh. You play gotcha games in one MMO. What does that say about you? It means you're happy. And you have no money. Maybe. I think a lot of gotcha games you could probably play without paying, right? If you just pay, if you just play it every day. Uh, yeah, I think so. And you're okay with not getting like the whatever the premium thing is. Sorry, sorry to the chat for all this boring talk about like tech shit. Oh my god, thank yous. Where's the last one? I'm not sure. I think you, you, someone can plant. Uh, this guy with, I'm watching can plant. Plant. Oh my god, took so many shots. I think we should make planting a new, uh, a new slang. <laughs> it's it's like uh, that sounds like it'd be a synonym for like choking. <laughs> bro, uh, bro, wait, wait, hold up, I'm planning. <laughs> Dude, watch, watch long. I'm planning right now. Hold up. I'm gonna join into a squat. Who let him plan? <laughs> Bro's planning nothing. Bro doesn't even have the bomb. <laughs> You're planning? Bro, you don't even have the bomb right now. Bro thinks he has the bomb. He's trying to plant. <laughs> wait, I have the wait, I have the bomb. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, you oh, no! the bomb. <laughs> he's he's in spawn. Oh he is? <laughs> It's just me and the the hunter hunter kid. I don't plan. If you win this hunter hunter, we'll come back. I gotta get this for hunter. hunter. Oh. Wait, hunter hunter guy's name's Jimin. He just died. He's in market, I think. To your to your right. Oh wait, no, never mind. I don't know. Use your trust your instincts. Oh, I'm so sorry. Fuck. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, from BTS. Call me CT because I'm planning. Oh no, wait, call me T because I'm planning all day. The, how do you pronounce? 
How do you pronounce that name? Jim in? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> the Hunter Hunter kid. I don't know. He, is it just Killua or just Killua? I don't. I, I, I've never watched Hunter Hunter to be honest. I watched the first season during COVID, but it was all right. Wow. Should not push mid. Kalua? Kaluha? Kaluha? Oh, what the f Oh my god. Oh shit. Sorry if, if I. No, I, I just couldn't see him because his head is too small in the van. Yeah, it was, it, it was like a, it was like junk food in a good way. What, like watching Hunter Hunter. Oh, I heard it's good. It's like a really good, it's good for what it is kind of thing. It's shonen, but it's like, it's not bad shonen. Yeah. I'm saying it, most shonen's pretty good in, until like 2016. Oh man. I think most shown it's pretty good, at least. Well, you can't you can't be gatekeeping and say something like that. That's true. Because if you're gatekeeping, but you're you're like I love Shonen. I didn't say I, I like loved it. Oh, we're on timeout. Wait, why are we on timeout? Oh my god, wait, the kill the kid he left. He heard me talking shit. About about Shonen. I know. I'm sorry. You know, as Shonen can be can be a fun sometimes. Like it's not it doesn't have the most depth, but like it 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 could be pretty feel good and uh You know, it like anime does you know uh, Media doesn't have to be depressing all the time for it to be good. It can sometimes be hopeful and friendly. I think it's pretty common that like a semi-popular shonen will will license a pretty good song for its opening. I agree with that. That's definitely not Hunter Hunter. Have you watched New Game? Mm mm. It's Is the it good? it's the game developer one. It's no. It, it's kind of like I I don't think it's like um it's like cute girls become game de developers. I think it's it's okay. It's oh it, it it's cute girls become game developers. Yeah, it's, it, it it is. It's like Moe. I'm I'm a cute girl, and I'm starting to work in the video game industry, kind of thing. Um, it's funny that that's like a whole. Is there a name for that genre of just like group of Moe girls like do thing, like go camping or they they like go on an airplane together. <laughs> Or like, uh... <laughs> that would be so sick. Like a twelve episode series of like going to the airport. Yeah, just them at this them. Yeah, going through the whole process <laughs> of like. Oh man, if there was like, if they were like, like girls like on vacation from Japan and like they visited America and they had a lot of fun, and yeah. the whole show was just them getting back to Japan. And like navigating through like America's like nightmare airport system, and they have like a bunch of connecting flights. Like they end up at LAX, and they're just lost in like the the like maze like fucking underbelly of LAX forever. The yeah, the first three episodes take place in LAX, and then um, oh hold on, I just cursed the whole team by saying that. Whoa, 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 
What? What the fuck? Dude, they're stream sniping us. There's no way. Like episode oh, yeah. episode four, like the two like the cliffhanger is they like touch down at like the cursed Colorado airport. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Chris, I've heard about the one in Antarctica. I've heard it's actually pretty good. They should have, there should be one where they like, they're going through TSA and they like, say they have something. Yeah. Like there's just like a mistranslation and like TSA think that they like, have some like weird like food product or something. And they like get all of their bags searched and stuff. Oh, there's an op here if you want it on the ground. Oh, it's my op. I'm gonna flash out. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Get there's him. one nice. more. Oh, there's one more. Fuck. Oh. I got him. He's in jungle. Okay, I'm gonna get the bomb or though. Wherever. Oh, shit. He's oh. watching the bomb. Okay, just, just watch jungle. No! How did I not get him? You got this. What the fuck? Where is he? Uh -oh. I'm so scared, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what? He disappeared. He's probably going around. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Rough rider. Dude, our team fucking hates me right now for doing that. <laughs> Whatever. That was a stressful situation. You had only seven health left. I was riding the whole pilot to this, t like, cute girls go through the TSA in my head. They have to go to a Hudson's, and, like, that's, like, that's, like, the main, uh, product placement. And they're just, like, they're, they, they think everything at Hudson's really cute. Like, they look at all the magazines and all the, like, uh, the snacks and stuff. Yeah, I think this show has a lot of potential. Because there's so much stuff that goes on at an airport. There's two of us. Fuck. You guys got this. We're both at A. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the bomb's down. I think they're both at A. Oh! Oh, nice! That was really good. Remember, this is bandit country. Shoot everything that moves. Is it four versus five? Uh, oh, it might be, yeah. Oh, shit. It's all right, we got this. Oh, I think they might be, uh, A. Ooh. I got one of them.
Who's the last guy? Cover me. Good night, Nug Bones. Yeah, I should have known. Got you from Palace. Good night, Nug Bones. I want to find a system where I can verify if, like, someone in chat got eight hours of sleep, and then, like, reward Is, them. Isn't that just uh? Couldn't that just be Pokemon sleep? Yeah, but I want Did like they? a way for them to send me their sleep data. Mm. Did, does Pokemon Sleep tell you like how much sleep people have gotten? Like friends? Yeah, like if you have like, does it tell you like how if you're does does Pokemon Sleep tell you if your friends are sleeping <laughs> at that moment? I don't know. Oh wait, fuck. Where are it they? Does. Are they at A? No, I think. Oh, one we'll push jungle. I thought that was in the game. Someone just flashed my stream. Oh my god. Oh shit, I think they're B. Or they're just hanging out. Fuck, they are at B. Oh, it's over. No! One of Mark. Three versus it. one? Nope, no problem. What's, what's, what's hit pretty bad? Yeah, mark it. Uh, I gotta get better at this game. You surrender. Is this the game asking us to surrender? <laughs> oh, wow. because somebody abandoned. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, happy birthday, Shindig. It's not my birthday. My fake birthday. Is everybody surrendering? I guess so. Did you surrender? I said no. I, I said, did you say yes? Oh, I, I said yes because I thought everybody was saying yes. It was like two yes. I feel bad. Tell them let me win on my birthday. Too late. All right, which one do you want to play now? You want to try Vertigo? Yeah, let's just do, let's just do Vertigo. I'm gonna get some water while this queues. Okay. You only got six hours? That's enough sleep time. I think. I'm pretty sure that's enough sleep time. It's probably not like good, but it's fine. I kind of want to look up like uh like rare types of of sleep schedules. Like really like weird like esoteric sleep schedules and adopt them for no reason just to like mess up my life. Uh rare sleep schedules. Whoa. Dimaxion sleep cycle. What the, f what is this? A Dimaxion sleep schedule has the most time awake in a day with 22 hours bright eyed and just two hours of sleep. It consists of four 30 minute naps throughout the day, roughly every six hours, which results in two hours of sleep time in total. Dude, I'm looking up I'm looking up rare types of uh sleep schedules. What's the rarest one? Well, I don't know if this is rare. I found one called Dimaxion Sleep Cycle, which is you just you take four 30 minute naps every day. And it it's the most like awake. Mm -hmm. It's a sleep schedule that keeps you like the most awake, like the the most the most like up hours. Um Oh, Spy Stanny, it's not my birthday. It's just a clickbaity title.
biphasic sleep consists of a sl split a split sleeping pattern so around five to six hours five to six hours a night and around two hours of sleep at midday oh okay that's just like i, I think that's like a lot of people do biphasic sleep that's when you like just take a nap during the day yeah oh i i want to i want to debate you on something so yesterday you said it's a hot take <laughs> okay. that okay. that that like people like sleep mm -hmm. i don't think that's true i mean i think people like to sleep because like they like to be rested but i think it's cool to not get sleep in the same way it's cool for game developers to say, like, making games is hard, and it's smoke and mirrors. It's, like, a way to justify, like, a condition, like, lack of sleep, as, like, not being completely insane. Does that make sense? I, I, I completely, I'm, I'm not even gonna argue against that, I completely agree with you. That, that, that is, that is definitely a thing of people bragging about how little sleep well i feel like people brag about how little sleep they got but i don't think if you were to ask them like do you like sleeping they would probably say yes people okay like, yeah, yeah, yeah what i was arguing is that sleep sleeping is boring because you're just laying down in bed and you're not looking at content <laughs> so, well, your brain but if you stimulate your brain enough your brain will make content for you yeah but like uh, it's it's not as, I mean, it can be good, it depends. If you were like doing a lot of cool stuff like recently or just, you know. I think it should be cool. And this is the actual probably like insane take that might get me. This, this is the take I get canceled for actually. I think it should be cool. And I'm included in this bucket because I don't, hold on. I need to kill this guy in the head. Yeah. I don't know this map at all. I'm so fucking Yeah, I just right ran. Now. I just ran everywhere. Bomb down. Oh, we're doing really good though. Oh. Dreams are content. But I feel like I never remember my dreams. And I don't even smoke weed, which I've been told is uh makes you forget your dreams. If I if I do a weed, I have insane dreams, and I'm not a fan of that actually. I like having like very mild or no dreams. That's what I have. If I have like guaranteed content every night that was like you know not horrible, I think I would like dreams more, or I would like sleeping more. I feel sensations when I'm sleeping, or I'll have like moods when I'm sleeping, but I never have like like cool narratives like i never very rarely do i get like really cool ideas from a dream I'm, yeah i've never had like an idea from a dream that i'm like i want to do this in real life it's either boring or like that's horrifying i don't want to do that i've had that a few times but it's uh one mid i think, I think what mid. will also happen is i'll have a dream that and like right when i wake up i'll be like that's a sick idea this is cool but then after like five minutes i'm like actually that's really stupid what are my thoughts on the thought blindness scale oh bombs down uh bombs I'm... down in a place i don't know about <laughs> i'm completely lost i'm coming to you I think the thought blindness conversation is, I feel like it's a topic that is, is very funny because it feels like something that is trying to condense a very complicated subject of like consciousness into very like, into a very simplistic frame of like being able to see or not see. And I think that's like, you can't prove it either way and it's also like it, it feels like a conversation so sorry did i get you killed there's no there's so many people where i died there's like four of them okay 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 it wasn't my fault then yeah but just, uh thank you hello I'm fontaine so is lost. dead i don't 
I'm so lost. I don't know where I am. Just be extra careful. Okay. I'm just gonna follow where. Your teammate died around here, I think. There was a Molotov here, so they probably don't want me to go here. I think you saw him. Oh. Did I? Oh shit! Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I guess my th my thought is that is he? No sir. What? Is he? <laughs> oh no, that's okay. Oh no. Oh, the terrorists win. It's okay. That's okay. Well, oh yeah, we're talking. Yeah, what's your? What are your thoughts on thought blindness? Um. Yeah, I think some people are taking it too literally because I think everyone has a sense. Oh, hold on. Has a sense of what an apple is in their head. Uh, I think. Have any neur neurologists like, uh said anything about it like i want to know what like people who study brains have to say about it i think they have a really annoying answer which is like it's a meaningless question like i think that's probably the real answer that is, like that's my assumption yeah. or that's like what i that's what i think when i hear that is like this feels like it's a dumb question because it is like yeah like i guess the way mm. you said it like it's, it's an annoying answer of it's like is a hot dog a sandwich it's that for neurology <laughs> yeah I don't know where I am. I'm lost. Okay, I do have one. I do have one. I do have one take. If you can't imagine an apple in your head, it simply means that you you're eating too much junk food because you can <laughs> yeah. visualize things that you interact with often. So, yeah, you can't visualize an apple, but I fuck. I bet you can imagine the McDonald's logo, or you can imagine uh, oh, uh some unhealthy food. So you. You guys got to be eating more fruits and vegetables. I, th I think everyone has the ability to a certain degree to to like have a very strong sense in their head because I think musicians, they can they can like hear, you know, in the same way like artists who illustrate, they say, I can see the picture in my head, which I relate mm -hmm. to. But then musicians are like, oh, no, I hear the song in my head. Like, I wrote the song in my head. And I think they mean that, like, hyper literally. I can... I think, like, one, one of the craziest feelings I had when I was little was the realization that I could think any thought in anybody's voice in my head. Yeah. Like, it, it blew my mind that I could, like... I could create, like, Hank Hill dialogue in my head and hear his <laughs> voice in my head. Uh, as, as like, as like weird and like stupid as that sounds that when I was like five, that, that was really mind blowing. Oh fuck, they're at the other spot. I literally have to follow these spray painted signs. I know, me too. I'm right. glad they're here. In universe. This is, this is the most diegetic map for me because I have to, I have to pretend I actually don't know this area. Oh no! Oh fuck. I've right, never right, seen right. a 113 and I never fucking will. No! Oh shit, it's not. It's not What's my up? birthday. Narrator, it's not my birthday. Happy I just, birthday. I just, put, birthday. I just put it in the title. And this wasn't inspired by your birthday. Don't, li don't listen. <laughs> don't listen to this. We were just thinking what is like the most attractive stream title and we were like, it's birthdays. That was the conclusion. I'm so sorry, but I hope you had an excellent birthday because it was your real birthday. It's for your birthday. Yeah, yeah, we're celebrating your birthday. It didn't say in the title whose birthday we were Happy celebrating. Birthday, Yay. Yeah, they had a cool. They had a cool party. And we're continuing that party by yeah. playing Counter Strike and uh, talking about apples.
Okay, but this was the this was the take that this is like my um I don't know. This is the take like you see me make on Instagram and you're like, oh no, I can't believe you said that. And my manager is telling me to like take it down. Oh my god. <laughs> um yep. I think you should be able to sh it should be normalized in some circles to shame each other if you don't get enough sleep. To keep each other accountable. Uh -huh. I think we I should think romanticize that, I, 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 sleeping. Maybe that's the other side of the coin. Well, we gotta make... Hmm. But then people will be like, why should I be sleeping more? Yeah, 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 you're right. Then people will just lie about their how much they're sleeping. Yeah, that's 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 the... I just... I, I did the, the negative reinforcement. We should do positive reinforcement on people who, like, sleep a lot. Or, like, get enough sleep. You know what I mean? How do we do it? I think first is, like, we need to make, like, a cute girl anime of, like... They all get enough sleep with like very cute before bed routines and stuff. Oh, that would be a cute mini series of like different like different like sleep routines. Yeah. All mid, all mid, bomb down. And then like TikTok, like we need to do like a TikTok misinformation campaign where like people like romanticize sleeping with like the the up theme trap remix or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have to show like yeah, you We have to show like the beautiful lives of people who sleep a lot. And mm -hmm. it's just like it's really awe inspiring and makes you wanna cry. And then there's like we, we create a bunch of like uh sock puppet accounts of people reacting to those videos and being like don't don't listen to this sleep propaganda stay up all night and it's just like really gross nerds saying it yeah yeah or like yeah we have to like fake respond to a nerd saying that like we hire an actor to be the gross nerd and then like we stitch it oh my god yeah 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 just a nerd like pointing up at like uh yeah this like this this beautiful like sleep sleep routine that somebody's doing and just a nerd being like um this is not pog and it's just it's the worst thing you've ever seen and it makes people want to sleep more <laughs> sleep chat versus insomnia cell why go to sleep when you can play counter-strike all night yeah it has to be nuanced because it, it's not like if you can't sleep that's different but it's like it, the difference is like glorifying willingly what, staying uh, up. What's like the grossest, uh, what's the grossest energy drink that like everybody hates? The problem is all energy drinks are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of like yeah, what's a really gross energy drink that like should be at like the. You know, it's not it's not gross. It's like pretentious. You know what I mean? Like, it, it has to be, like, a a New Yorker article that's, like, in defense of, like, insomnia or something. That would make people fucking in, hate insomnia. In defense of not sleeping. Like, staying up late is, like, class warfare because, like... I keep dying <laughs> to the same guy. Every time I make the dumbest fucking takes, I die to the same guy. The, the like, colon? Yeah, colon. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Terrorists win. Bang is gross. Bang has... I feel like I can't fairly say Bang is gross because they have like 3,000 flavors and I've only tried a couple of them. The ones I've tried are, aren't good, but... You know, maybe some one of the other ones is good. Rockstar is also bad. I sadly really like Monster. I try not to have it that that much, but it's it's one of my like special treats. Where are they? Did they go A? No. Oh! Oh, it's... Yeah, they're like... You got it, they're, they're pretty low. Oh my 
god. Well, uh, Monster is good. I I think I haven't tried any of like the new brands, so I've tried Monster. I used to drink a lot of Rockstar, like Rockstar Punch. Uh, and like Ooh. basically canned coffee and red like for me it's just Red Bull now if I drink at all. I only ever have Red Bull when I'm at bars because it feels like bars will only have uh, or sorry, yeah, bars will only have Red Bull. It's it's the nightlife drink. The monster is like I'm I'm staying at home on the computer drink. The TikTok is stitching, pointing up and saying, This is so toxic with dramatic mystery music. I have them explain the audience how all sleep is bad for you. Oh, yeah, we like incorporated in some like a uh, conspiracy thing. Unfortunate. Damn. This map is beautiful, though. This map is really pretty. I really like it. It, it looks really nice. I think. I think if we made. Okay, here's my actual campaign. Like, I can attack this from, like, an influencer marketing standpoint, which is like I think we can make it like a parasocial type experience where you all get ready for bed together. Hmm. How would you do how would you do that though? I'm not sure, but I think that I think that that's that's the secret somehow. Everybody sinks their toothbrushes. Too mid. They're waiting in the back though. That's not a bad idea to be honest. Like like you could brush as at the same time as XC right now. Yeah, like your toothbrush flashes the same time. Oh, you know what it is? You know how they're like these... Oh, are you still alive? Sorry. Oh, no, you can talk. I'm gonna distract you because the idea is too good. State... Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not my birthday. It's just a clickbait title. But thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I miss you. I jumped out too quick. You're on following? No, don't do that. The point of the title is to get you to follow. <laughs> do that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Don't do that, dude. <laughs> okay, you know how there are items for like long distance couples that's like oh, you press the button and they press the button, you can like, I don't know, see the light at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That needs to be like one to many. So it's like you can buy one that like syncs to your favorite streamer and it will light up every time they brush their teeth. Oh, have a good night, Skeleton Club. It's, it's daylight for them. I think it's gonna look good. Actually... Oh no. Never mind, he's going driving. Ooh! Ooh, I got the really good uh, USB skin. God, I want this so bad, it looks so sick. It's... I would buy it straight up. It but it's like 50 bucks. You have the bomb, by the way. I do? Where's, I don't even know where, where you got. Uh, bottom, bottom, look at, look where your guns are. Oh, oh where, where you oh. plant, I don't know, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. Oh, actually, you know what? There should just be a stream where you like, you know, the streamer comes online for like an hour and it's like, this is my go to sleep routine. Is there a, uh, I was gonna ask earlier, is, you mentioned like a one-to-many like internet of things mm -hmm. thing. Is there a, that's kind of our, I feel like that, that's got to exist already, right? Yeah. Like somebody's already done that. In the, uh, in, for like webcam, cam girls and stuff. Yeah, that's what it, I would assume like that's got to be like a, an adult toy thing that already exists.
Well, we just gotta make it for other stuff. Yeah, like the toothbrush or... Ooh, maybe like your pillow like will glow a color that's like... Oh, uh... Nanners just went to bed. It's time for you to go to bed. <laughs> Maybe it would have to be pre-recorded because it could be like a security risk, you know? <laughs> like know someone's yeah. exact routines. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. This, this, this is why this is why you gotta brainstorm these things. Like, Pokemon Sleep seems like a really good idea if they didn't do it already. They still- I think someone could release a better version of Pokemon Sleep and, like, still take over that entire market. Because Pokemon Sleep as a, a thing sucks. Yeah. I think the- they, like Oh, go for it. Oh, you go, you go. The closest thing to this idea was, um... Mystic Messenger, I think. Yeah. Oh man, imagine like, yeah, like a hot guy like telling you like, can you please go to sleep so you stay beautiful? Dude! And, like, I love you. <laughs> and he like, he gets disappointed in you if you don't go to sleep. Wait, dude. Wait, wait, let him plant. Keep planning, dude. Oh man. Uh. I mean, yeah, like, that and yeah like he wouldn't wake you i mean maybe he could wake you up in the morning to just be like oh wake up like do you want it let's let's go on a run together or something and then that would like encourage you know uh daily exercising wait dude which I, I don't know if we want to go that far but I, I mean fuck it why not if you have a good sleep schedule it's, it's... wait where the am i ct or t your t your t your t your t should be uh you don't have the bomb the bomb's dropped. The... You need to get the bomb. Oh shit. Oh my god, the other... I'm so lost. <laughs> oh wait, this is like a movie where I'm like directing you through the, through the map. Alright, you gotta make a left. Ah. I'm gonna get owned. Right, yeah, up, up these stairs. It's, it's, it's gonna be up to your right. Probably camping it. Yeah, it's gonna be behind these white boxes, I think. Or not. Where the fuck is this bomb? Right oh, there, right there. Here. No! I walked all that way just to get killed. Okay, what you just said, like, okay. You have a virtual boyfriend. Not virtual boyfriend, just, just a virtual anyone. Uh, you know on your phone telling you mm -hmm. to sleep and then they're like why don't we go for a run and it has to like detect that you're running for you to unlock new content you know what i mean oh yeah you can unlock like like yeah like like really you can unlock really good conversations and story you can unlock like his lore like you like run with him and he like tells you stuff about his life yeah and he like won't open up to you unless if you like have a good sleep schedule and you're yeah. going on like going on runs with him. Yeah, because he's like, the class president. Oh, he bonds with you. Yeah, because he's the class president and he's gonna go to Tokyo University. And so he's like a huge tryhard. I think this is an amazing idea. Your, I think phones are pretty good at detecting whether or not you're shaking or like if you're actually running or not Because they can look at like your GPS and stuff Yeah, this is a really good idea Yeah, just like mystic messenger with that encourages you to have a healthy life Yeah, and in mystic messenger there's that guy who was like hyper toxic too, right? Like he he played league like all night It's kind of like abuse emotionally abusive maybe I think so. Yeah. Him or like, uh, I know there was like one guy that was like, 
really like got emotionally bad. I don't know if that was the gamer guy. It might have been. But uh, oh, what was I gonna say? There could be maybe the toxic guy, like what, what's considered the toxic guy, is just somebody who like exercises too much, or like you know is a. Uh, you know, it's like really into fitness, and it's like, oh man, like that's not everybody's gonna do that route. But if if it's gonna if there's gonna be an extreme route, it should lean into the lifestyle. Maybe he's like, oh, maybe he's like a like red pilled guy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, and you have to like you you kind of have to like bring him back and teach him that like you know you don't have to like. You don't have to be this like macho masculine guy all the time. You can get in touch with your sensitive side. Yeah, he's like, you know, I, I know the exact guy this is uh that, that would be cast for this. It's yeah, the guy I can fix him guy. It's the guy who thinks they're like three days there's a one week in a day or something like that. You know what I mean? Like the Yeah, yeah, yes. Barry Buck, hello, welcome. Oh. oh no. It's gonna stand right here. <gasps> get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh Please my god, call. that's so embarrassing. No. I'm too busy thinking about this game. Maybe they could like... Terrorists win. You can like connect it to different accounts. So like they could like, you can connect it to your Steam account. And if you're playing a game for too long, your boyfriend could be like, hey, you've been playing Counter-Strike for a while. Do you want, do you want to like come to bed with me? Ooh. Like take a break. You've been playing this game for too long. Like, you gotta, he's like, can you, I'll call you. They'll like, have a five minute conversation. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh my God, this is such a good idea. Just Mystic Messenger, but with uh, improving your life. Are there, there has to be like, oh my fucking God. I was gonna say there has to be, mis oh, what the fuck? Colonel access level. Yeah, Valorant, Mystic Messenger, uh... I feel like I do better when I'm like really lost, because I feel like I, I go places where people don't normally go on this map. I think your senses are heightened. Like, you, you check corners a lot more. Yeah. These are just enhanced take a break reminders. Exactly. And yeah, having kernel level access to your computer sounds extreme, but also, you know, you can't, you can't be mild about wanting to turn your life around. It's a, it, it's gonna be a, a pretty, a uh, radical change no matter what. Yeah, do you want a caring boyfriend or not? Do you want a caring boyfriend or you you want to stay up another night drinking Monster and playing, uh, CS2? Dude, I can't see these people. I'm just not paying attention. How do we make this happen? We can make this happen. We know how to like make shit. I know how to make games. Yeah. This is my game. Oh, but do, do we do it in Unity or Godot? I'm, I'm gonna do it in Godot. Fuck. Unless, uh, unless, 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 okay, we can do it in Unity, but you have to do everything. I'm the, I can do. We, we could split the difference and we'll, we'll do it in Unreal. No. <laughs> Just kidding. That'd be fun to learn Godot by doing that. I don't know what, how Godot is like 
mobile. That's true. Oh, would what this the fuck? be a mobile game? Would this be a mobile game? It, it would have to be I a mean, mobile be, game. It would have to be a mobile game, but like, would this just be like... This is almost like a website, or like it's like a... It's an app. Like it's... It could be a website, yeah. It, it might work... In some ways, it could work better as a website. I mean, it could also be a... Having it be a game gives a lot more options. But... I do really like when in Mystic Messenger, like, they could call you at night and shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. No! Oh my god. Does he have a kit? Yeah, he does. No. I think have, if they have two different colored wires, it's a kit. I don't think he has a kit. Maybe he did. That dude in Unity make a language pack for Nano? I mean, I could make a language pack like in anything with Nano. Green, yellow, it's a Like, it, it would actually be pretty easy to do that. Would you would you get eight hours of sleep for Nano? If Nano was like telling me to do that like constantly, I would definitely do probably more likely do it. I'm glad people would sleep for Nano. I could definitely prototype it in RenPy. Watch out, there are like people there right in front of you. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh no. Uh. Oh, it's green and yellow if it's a kit, and blue and yellow if it's not. You should have, they should have skins for your diffuse thing. Like little cute wires. Ooh. Or like, uh. Hmm. What, what would it. <laughs> what would a cute wire be for, for a diffuse kit? Maybe like a, maybe one that looks like, uh, wires that kind of are the same color as like silly straws. Oh yeah, this, that is true. I think you, you can see the kit. I keep on getting killed by the colon P guy. Oh, he's the last one. I'm looking up Godot's mobile support. Activating the bomb. Yo, he's planning to just push them. Because I know for sure Unity has support for mobile, and it's... I, I know it pretty well. Or I know it, like, well enough. Oh, nice. Oh my god, we won. Dude, we did it. The first time we played Vertigo, we won. Thank you, Barry Bug. Thank you, Spice Dandy. Thank you. This is the first time either of us have played this map before. Yeah. Oh, I like that explosion behind us. I think that was from the previous round because we planted the bomb. Yeah. You love Vertigo? That's awesome. 
Play YouTube Dude, Vertigo. Let's get good at Vertigo. Let's watch the Alfred Hitchcock movie, Vertigo. We can be really good at Vertigo and Office. Do you want to play Office? Uh, I should probably get ready for bed on the topic of... Oh, yeah. you're getting ready for, for, your, uh, for your new hot boyfriend. Guys, everyone, okay, everyone who's listening right now, if you can go to bed a little earlier today, in the Discord, if you wake up, write hashtag well-rested gamer. And then that's, <laughs> that's our little communal thing. That's adorable. I, I'm, I'm very much for that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to think of a way to do that in some way. They're always well rested. I feel like we have the skill set to do it. Yeah. And if we don't, we probably know enough people to help us. The question is, would pe would people actually do it? What what is that enough for people to get people to to sleep more? I think. I I think designing it as a this person will stick at it for a year probably is too much effort. But I think if someone plays the game consistently for a week, that's enough of a hook, I think. <laughs> it would have to start off as like just a regular visual novel. Like yeah. it, it has to start out as like a, you're, we have to create some scenario and there's like a bunch of, there's like, you know, a bunch of characters you have to choose from. Whoa, that's a really rare knife. You guys got really rare knives. Okay, you can go Ooh, nice. Uh, if you're new here, you can go to this website and you can actually check your knife collection there. You'll go to bed 10 minutes earlier. I don't think I've ever regret going to bed early. That's the thing. Have you? I um, I've definitely gone to bed early and been like, "Oh man, I wish I I, I, I want to play a video game." But now I just play, I, I mean, I I think I've told every, like my chat a million times. Like lately, I've been just playing Higurashi before bed. And that's the thing I look forward to before going to bed. I play that for like a, a little bit and then I go to bed. Ooh. I used to read. You should read. Yeah, reading's good. Dude, they, you, can get, you can get a book for free. There's like a... Yeah, I have, I have that I have the library app thing. Um there's also this cool uh First Blood. Oh the Black Starsman, thank you for following. Uh there's also this new like e ink reader that's in the shape of an iPhone or like the shape of a smartphone. Um Wait, just, really? Like like it's like small? Yeah, like it's small and I kinda oh. want it. It's really pricey though, but it's I kind of want What's it. What's it called? Uh, let me pull it up. Let me get it. It's called. Uh... Oh. Okay. There's there's two. One's on sale on Amazon, but I think it's 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 a 5.2 inch screen, which is smaller than a standard iPhone. Uh, but this one from B and H. Let me let me link this to you. It's on pre order oh. now. Let me send it to you. That looks like a. I saw it for a split second. Oh, you sent it to me. Yeah, it's just an e-ink. I think basically an e-ink smartphone, but you can use it for reading. Wait, this is sick. Wait, I actually really want this. It's like a phone. It's a tablet. But it's e-ink. Uh, yeah, it's. A, I think it's 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 a tablet or like it doesn't have phone functionality, right? So. It does have an earpiece though. Ooh. Wait, is this a phone? What is this? It, oh. oh, it's saying it's read your favorite ebooks. Yeah. There's one on <laughs> Amazon from Xiaomi. Uh, which looks okay, but it's small. It's like 5.2 inches, so I don't know. Yeah, there's also a camera on this. Yeah. Does I... this take a SIM card? I don't know. Powered by Android 11. I'll go back to Android if they start releasing a lot more e-ink stuff. 
I I kind of I mean I I just really like the way the UI looks on this. Yeah. This is so cool. I'm 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 bookmarking this. I'm, I want I want this. I don't know if I'm going to it has one review, which is 5 stars. Uh I found it through um what is his name? You know Chris I think it's Chris Pearson. Person? Chris. Yes. Wait, yes. hold on. That name is extremely familiar. Let's see. Chris Person. Pop issue. Papa issue. Cuz he tweets a ton of hardware things he's collecting and then uh this came up let's see let me see it's a bookmark it for sure but there was like a review from someone who got their hand on it and they're like yeah it's really good and now i no i need it i want it oh here 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 i found it i found i found it Wait, nope. Uh, hmm. I'm going through this guy's replies like... Wait, what? what's that? What, what, who is this person on Twitter? What, what's their at? Their, their username? Th their ex name? I'll send it to you. Okay. Do you post on Blue Sky? Oh, I don't know who this person is. Uh, I do sometimes, but not very often. I probably should more. I wish I could just post on Twitter and it just copies over to Blue Sky and just post there. Yeah. Wait, where is it? Hold on. I'm looking in the replies like a insane person, <laughs> but like... You're going going through this guy's media tab. It's not immediate because he replied to someone who reviewed it. Uh, oh. Well, maybe I still have like the review. Do you remember any words from the? Review? I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna pull. How many of you guys in the chat post the blue sky? Does anyone need it? I have. I have like. I have a ton of invites. I had so many invites a while ago. I should have sold them for money i would i would have been like a little tiny bit richer but then i i, I don't know if that would have been bad to do oh so is it a phone no it's a tablet there's no cellular capability this phone size uh that phone size uh hover oh i found a typo in this article right off the bat looking through this i found a typo he was trying to say however but he says hover that phone size hover can be a bit confusing and misleading because it is definitely not a phone the cons say it's like confusing because it it's in the phone shape but it's not a phone i'm like is that the main con that you trick yourself that you think it's a phone? <laughs> you try to. I'm so confused. I try to call people with with my ebook, but I can't because it's just a phone. Yeah. You mostly just cross post the blue sky. I should. I should just do that. Yeah, this the I I'm I'm very pro this thing. This this thing just need like the review. I understand why they're reviewing it this way, but like the review that's gonna get, that's gonna capture like ninety percent of the impressions of people who care about this thing, is just gonna say, can it run the Kindle app well? Can you load documents? And like that's all it needs to answer. Like everything mm -hmm. else is like it doesn't matter. It's like is it a phone? Is it like that shouldn't matter. Or if anything, Amazon should just uh, undercut them and just make the same form factor. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's weird that they haven't done this yet with how much like people are used to reading shit on their phones. Yeah, I'm sure it's like an app thing. I think it would depend if they cared about sending more selling more Kindle devices, which I'm not sure if that's a thing. It would probably be so cheap for them to make a thing like this. Um they they have a they they have all kinds of connections to supply chains. They could they can sell a thing for very cheap and it being okay. They just like it, 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 well, if they did, if they made something like this, it would be cheap, but it would just include a ton of bloatware that would be impossible to get rid of. A big sell is disconnecting. Yeah, but so if like the two, it's it costs two hundred and eighty US dollars, right? So if a hundred of like if a hundred of that is for like all this extra operating system stuff, that. You could probably cut that out, but the de but the thing with that is it's kind of different because I imagine there's like a lot of R and D into the like the Kindle standalone hardware app versus like it's probably easy to load Android into something. That's my assumption, right? Mm, yeah, they should. There should just be a device that has like. A how how much data would it be to have like every book in a library? <laughs> Probably a lot. Now that I'm thinking about it more. But like bigger than an iPhone, like 512. Yeah, how, it can't be can't be more than like a terabyte. Yeah. How big is Wikipedia? Right? I think Wikipedia is like hella small. Like it's it's something like I don't know, like 4 4 gigs or something. Oh, 45 wow. gigabytes. Well, adding images will account for 99 gigabytes. Dude, that's like... Well, I guess... Uh, I don't know how big Wikipedia is compared to a library of books and stuff. I don't know how comparable those are. Yeah. Anyway... You, yeah, I don't know. It's got to be a wait. Yeah, if if we, because if you want to disconnect, I feel like there should be a way to just have like a ton of books on a device. I'm really tired. This is. <laughs> you should get your eight hours of sleep. I I should. I didn't get a ton of sleep last night. Okay. This this I is a. Uh, this is the this is it. We're gonna sleep. I, yeah, I need I need to be like I need to be well rested and beautiful and like smart for for Nano tomorrow. Yeah, it's important. Mm hmm. Thanks for thanks for playing. Thanks for letting me play. You know what? With Whoa. uh, CS with you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for playing. I didn't have anything planned today. I love Counter Strike. <laughs> We should play Vertigo more. Yeah. We should have a we should have some stakes. Like every round we win, something ha needs to happen. Oh, I'll have to think about that. Or like, what what kind of like funny thing we could do for this? Like what kind of like, uh, redeem bit we could do? Hmm. Yeah, I think I just have to think about it more. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna raid someone, and then uh, I'm gonna be a well, I'm gonna be a well, a well rested gamer. Oh, I'm sorry. One more question I have to ask you: Have sure. you played Suica game? No, I saw, I saw you play it, and I saw people in chat say they played it. Then I watched a short today where Ludwig said he played it, and he said he, it's, it's, it's terrible. Like, it's hard. Don't listen to Ludwig. He's... Well, he said, it's, know, he, he said it's hard. He said it's really hard. I won on my first match, and I think you could win on your first match, too. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do it before I sleep. Yeah. Be careful, though. Okay. I'll be well-rested still. <laughs> okay, good night. Night. Going flashback.